Hi, my name's Max Walker-Williams, and I'm here at The One Winkley Square. It's a development we've just finished. We bought about 18 months ago. It was originally DWF solicitors' offices. It's about 21,000 square feet. We got planning permission to convert it into 17 residential apartments. The work is now complete. We've been selling the apartments, and before everybody moves in, I thought I'd give you guys a tour and let you see the apartments before they're gone. Through these windows, you have one of my favorite views in Preston. Morning. Box system. So this tiny little device here lets you into the apartment. You just touch the top there and the door pushes open. Built in circa 1803, this is a Georgian building at its best. It's absolutely stunning. You have double high ceilings. And we wanted to go with the traditional entrance hall tile, which I'm now going to reveal to you. First impressions count. And so when you come in through the front door, it was really important to us that people understood the grandeur of this building. We didn't want it to be intimidating. And I think Laura's got the balance absolutely perfect. We've got the Georgian-esque black and white tiles on the floor. We've got the double dado rails. We've got the coving in the ceiling ceiling roses and these incredible front doors. So this is apartment one, as you can see the front door is here and we have this house of the rising sun window display and the same for apartment number two across the hallway. Really, really stunning property. This is apartment six, which is one of the three penthouses we have. As you're gonna see, we're really, really proud of this apartment. It's absolutely amazing. It's a two bedroom, two bathroom apartment with a living room, kitchen, and then an amazing rooftop garden. Off the hallway, we come straight into the living room and have a look at the height of the ceiling. It's a double height because we're unpitched, because we're on the roof. It's the top floor of the property. And you've got these amazing beams, the trusses going across the ceiling there, and the beam going across. This apartment reminds me of a barn conversion more than a city centre apartment because of the height of the ceilings and the beams. I absolutely adore this room. So you've got plenty of space for entertaining friends. There'll be sofas there on the wall. You can see we've got a TV aerial and also an Ethernet cable for smart TVs so you can get your Netflix and the internet on your TV. Off the living room is the kitchen. We've got a fully integrated kitchen with the fridge freezer built into the cupboards there. Sink, granite worktops as standard, oven, hob on top with the extractor fan. The extractor fan isn't an external extractor fan, it's a filter extractor fan. It does exactly the same job, it just means that you haven't got messy holes going outside. You've got a filter inside that needs changing every six months or so, depending on how much you cook. Unfortunately, most of the windows in the property when we bought it had failed, and a lot of them were single glazed. So as part of the planning permission, we were allowed to replace every single one of the windows in the building with wooden sash windows, which are double glazed and super efficient. In fact, the whole building is super efficient. We don't have any gas boilers, they're purely electric. Water heated systems, but with an electric boiler. From 2025, you're not gonna be able to buy gas boilers anymore, so it future proofs the apartments, but also makes them super energy efficient with a B plus rating or higher. Through these windows, you have one of my favorite views in Preston. It's good because you get to see the park on the left, but you also get the Georgian street scene on the right. You can see everyone going about their daily lives and the world going by from the peace and tranquility of this incredible apartment. The trees in uh, Winkley Square Garden are not evergreen. And what that means is through the seasons, they change all the time and the scene changes as you look out the window. So in winter now, none of the trees have leaves and it's a different scene to when it is in summer and it's all bright greens. And then in autumn, all the yellows and browns. And I think it would just be amazing to be living in this apartment and seeing the scenery outside change with the seasons. When you're renovating a property to sell, it's always very, very important to remember that everyone has slightly different tastes and you want the apartment or the house to appeal to as many people as possible. So I was a little bit nervous, if I'm honest. And I think Laura was being a little bit brave when she chose these tiles. I think they're a little bit masculine. Let me know in the comments below if you agree and you think these are quite a masculine tile, but everyone loved them, so we were, we were okay. And the buyer of this apartment absolutely adores them. So we were lucky, but I do think these are a bit masculine for mass market. We've got a 1600 shower tray in this bathroom, which basically means that it's absolutely massive and it's a wet room. So there's no step from the bathroom into the shower. We've got an eight inch shower head. It's both got rainfall and power shower capabilities. So Laura loves 
uh, a power shower, really hard hitting streams, and I like more like a rainfall kind of shower. So this does both and caters to everyone's tastes. There's also the hand tap if you want to have a shower, uh, particularly for girls, if they want to have a shower and not get their hair wet, they can do that with the hand uh, uh, shower. We've got the toilet and then the vanity basin with the waterfall tap. And behind the door, we've got a nice big heated towel rail. Make sure your towels are nice and warm. The mirror is very slim line and modern to go in line with the, the tiles. Um, it's touch technology, so you can turn it on and off with the touch of uh, a button. And it's also steam proof. So it just means, particularly for men, when you're having a shave, it, after a shower, the steam doesn't ruin the mirror. Being a penthouse on the top floor, the last thing you want to be doing is going all the way downstairs to let people in. So each of the apartments has got this buzzer. You can buzz people in the front door, speak to them, and tell them to go away if you don't want to see them. As you can see, the second bedroom in this apartment is a really good size, and it's got the double height ceiling, which is really impressive. It's not en suite, but it's only a two bed and it is a two bath. So this bedroom would presumably have the enjoyment of the master bathroom that we've just been in. Again, there's the double sockets and wall TV point on the wall there and plenty of sockets. We always make sure there's plenty of sockets because the way things go with technology, you're always trying to charge things and power things up. Everything that we do these days needs power. So there's plenty of sockets in this room. What's amazing about these two bedrooms in this apartment is that they used to be one large office. Obviously the boss of the solicitor's firm was on the top floor and this was his large office. It was too big to be one bedroom and two bedroom apartments are obviously more versatile. So we wanted to split the two bedrooms up. However, we had this beautiful A-frame that we found once we dropped the false ceiling. So when we bought the building, we didn't actually know this was here. We dropped the false ceiling and it revealed this amazing A-frame. So what we decided to do was split the room under the A-frame and build this stud wall up to the bottom of the A-frame to give visual privacy between the two rooms. But we didn't want to lose the A-frame. And if we'd built the wall up one side of the A-frame, one of the rooms would obviously be able to see the A-frame, but not see through it. And the other bedroom would just have this really, really high wall. So what we decided to do was build the stud wall up to the bottom of the A-frame and then put soundproof glass in the middle of the A-frame. And that means that both rooms can see through the A-frame. They have visual privacy from the stud wall and audio privacy from the soundproof glass. And I think the end result is absolutely fantastic. As you look through the A-frame, you can see all the trusses of the room next door, but you can't see anything else. Right, come on, let's go and see the master bedroom. This is, in my opinion, this is one of the best bedrooms in Preston. And I think it'll be a contender for one of the best bedrooms in the country. We've got the A-frame from this side, as I talked about in bedroom two, and you really get an idea of how amazing this is, having the wall go all the way up to the bottom of the A-frame, but you don't lose the A-frame. I think it's absolutely fantastic. On top of that, you've got this really, really unique ensuite. So you can see it's frosted glass for privacy, but, it's got all the mod cons you'd expect in a penthouse ensuite apartment. There was a lot of debate about this bathroom and whether or not it should be solid walls and going all the way up to the ceiling. But I think it would have been very tubular. It would have been like a, t a thin, tall tunnel. And it also would have made the room, the overall size of the room, a lot smaller and feel a lot more boxy. And on top of that, it would have cut through the, the joists and the trusses. So I think it really would have, would have spoiled the look of the room. So instead, we went for the short height open air bathroom and the glass to make the whole room feel bigger and look bigger. And we didn't go all the way up to the ceiling with the glass because it wasn't needed. So we've got an extraction, a really strong extraction fan for the steam so that the steam doesn't ruin the room or the clothes in the room and that sort of thing. We've also got an opening window. So if you're having a bath, you can open the window and everything will be fine from a steam point of view. A massive selling point for any home is making sure that it has a bath. From a developer's point of view, it's not a big or expensive task, but it's really, really important to buyers. Some people aren't bothered, they don't want a bath, and they've got the shower, so that's fine, but a lot of people like to have a bath, and particularly people with young children, it's really, really important. So if Laura and I were looking to buy this apartment, if it didn't have a bath, it'd be a real sticking point. We've got young children, we can't shower them, or they don't want to get in the shower, particularly young babies, so a bath's really, really important. Okay. Morning. <sighs> Imagine having this as you're off your bedroom. So from the master bedroom, we walk out onto this private garden balcony. Absolutely amazing. We've gone for a really expensive AstroTurf because it really makes the difference. When you have the thin stuff, it doesn't look real and just feels rubbish under the feet. At the moment, it's really flat because it's brand new and it's been raining, which tends to happen a lot in Preston. Um, but once it's been walked on a bit, it'll start to pick up and you'll see that it's actually really, really thick and very realistic looking. You get the sun most of the day, 
for the couple of days a year that it's sunny in Preston. And it's a really, really good size. So you can actually have a really good party out here. Of the 17 apartments that we have here at the One Winkley Square, all of the sales have exchanged, but 15 have completed, which means that we can only show you the last two apartments, the penthouse that we've just seen here, and we're very fortunate that we can show you the new build penthouse that you can see just behind me. So we're now gonna walk over to the back and have a look at that one. We're now at apartment number 17, the second penthouse that we can show you, which is adjacent to the front of the property on Winkley Square. Right next to me, you'll notice this giant pipe and you might wonder what it is. It's called a dry riser. The reason it's called a dry riser is because there's nothing in it except air, it's completely dry. But in the unfortunate event of a fire, it means that the fire brigade can run up the stairs with hoses, connect to this, and then fight the fire on this floor. It just means that they don't have to run hoses full of water all the way up the stairs connected to a van outside or a fire truck outside. They can literally just run in with light, dry pipes, connect them to this, fill this with water from the ground floor, and then fight fires. So as you come through the second front door in this beautiful apartment, first thing you come to is the second bedroom. Through into the second bedroom, it's got this amazing floor to ceiling windows. This is a complete new build, don't forget. So when we bought the property, this was just a flat roof and we've built everything you see on top of the flat roof and then carried on the staircase to get up to this apartment. As you walk around the apartment, you might notice that the windows are a little bit dirty. Uh, it's not that we're lazy, it's just that there's no point in cleaning them. Most of the dirt's on the outside and there's no point in cleaning or maintaining them because they're actually getting replaced. So the window supplier who supplies us with all these windows got the order mixed up and they sent us toughened glass, but not safety glass. So what that means is if you hit this glass hard enough, it will smash, it'll go into tiny little pieces, which is safety, uh, but it's not toughened. So it means that if you hit it hard enough, you will go through. Being four stories up, it's not good enough. So this penthouse is a two bedroom, two bathroom apartment. So this is obviously bedroom number two, and there's the ensuite for this bedroom. It's got the walk-in shower uh, with shower tray to keep your toilet nice and dry. It's got the eight inch rainfall power shower, as we showed you in the other apartment. Just a really, really nice ensuite for a beautiful second bedroom. So the bedside sockets have got USB charging points. It just means that if you've got a USB charger lead, you can plug it straight into the socket plate and it leaves the plugs free for other things. From bedroom two, we walk across the corridor and went to the master bedroom. And this, like the other penthouse we showed you, is a really, really special bedroom for loads of different reasons. This apartment also has the roof balcony, which you can see through the windows in the master bedroom. You've got a walk-in wardrobe, really big ensuite with a bath, and we know that's important. And behind Bill is where the bed will sit, and above that is the viewing pod. So the king size bed will sit in between the two smart sockets that we talked about in bedroom two, and above us is the light pod. At the moment, there's no blind or anything on it, and that's because we've got the kit and the electrics are already installed, but we need the buyer to choose what kind of fabric they want, the color and the texture, and then you'll have a remote, you press a button, and the blind will close so you're not woken up early in the hours with the sun. When it's raining, it's gonna be absolutely amazing to lay down. Oh, it is cool, isn't it, Bill? Finally, we have the kitchen and living room. And the real selling point of this room, as you can see, is all the natural light that's pouring in through the four floor to ceiling windows that we have. Again, they're not clean because they're getting replaced. So uh, it'll be really, really amazing to see that completely finished with the windows absolutely spotless and immaculate. Got a fully fitted kitchen, as you'd expect in a penthouse. Again, with the built-in fridge freezer oven, hob, and filter extraction. And in this one, the actual hood is built into the cabinets as well, so it's absolutely seamless, and you're not having to look at it when you're in the living room. Each of the apartments has a smart boiler, as I've said before in the other apartment. They also come with EPH controls. So these nifty little devices mean that you can control the heating remotely through via the app on your mobile phone, or you can do it in the house digitally and get the exact temperature, program it, holiday mode so when you go away, the heating comes on at winter to stop your pipes freezing up. It just means that you're not tied to one supplier because you can get the same thing from like British Gas. They do a, a system called Hive, but then you're tied in with British Gas. With these, it means that you've got that system, got all the apps, got the control, but you can then go and choose the supplier that you want. Outside, you've got this beautiful private roof terrace that wraps around the whole property. Really amazing space. And just like before, we've got that really plush, thick AstroTurf on the roof, which makes it really nice and comfy under the feet. Privacy glass around the side, nice and high, so it's safe for children. Even if they step on the ledge, they're not gonna be falling over anytime soon. And unlike the 
incorrect windows that we've got at the moment. This stuff is toughened, so it's going nowhere. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as we enjoyed making this video. I really do love it here at the One Winkley Square here in sunny Preston. As always, please give us a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this one. Thanks for coming. Thank <laughs> you.